Thank you for watching the Man Venture Outpost Guide to Buying Firearms Online. We put this together to explain the process involved with buying a firearm online so that you fully understand the process and there are no surprises along the way. Here's our basic overview today. We want to verify that you can legally possess a firearm. Verify that the firearm is legal in your area. Find a local firearms dealer willing to do the transfer. Ensure you have a safe and secure place to store the firearm. Purchase the firearm. Send us the required documentation. And then go to your local dealer and fill out the transfer paperwork and do the background check. First, you want to verify that you can legally possess a firearm. You want to review the questions on ATF Form 4473 to make sure you are not a prohibited person. Chances are, if you're prohibited, you will know it. You also want to make sure that your current state ID has a photo on it and has your current home address. Uh, no P.O. boxes, uh, physical addresses only, and you want to make sure that it's current and valid and not expired. You also want to make sure that you are the actual purchaser of the firearm and you're not purchasing purchasing the firearm on behalf of anyone else. If you're giving the firearm as a gift, it's a good idea to take the person that you're giving the firearm to with you to the dealer so they can do the background check and transfer to the actual person that will be receiving the firearm in the end. Next you want to verify that the firearm you're interested in is actually legal to own in your area. Many states and jurisdictions have restrictions on the type and capacity of firearms that are legal to own good place to start is your local police or your state police. They can usually advise you of whether or not the firearm is legal. Uh, another way you can often contact a local dealer and they'll be able to advise you if it's, if it's legal or not. You want to find a local dealer that's going to be willing to perform the transfer. It's best to call and verify this for each purchase. Some dealers will only allow certain types of firearms to be transferred. Uh, you also want to check their hours of operation and the transfer fee. Some good sites, if you don't know of a good dealer, uh, you can look on Gun Broker, FFL Gun Dealers, or FFL Registry. Uh, they'll usually have some pretty comprehensive list of local dealers for you. Uh, they'll also list the fees and any certain restrictions uh, sometimes, but it's, it's usually always a good, good recommendation to call the local dealer and, and touch base with them before you go ahead and have a firearm sent to them. Uh, if you don't find one using these methods, uh, you can often do a Google search for a gun dealer in your area, uh, you know, ask around at a local shooting range. Someone's bound to, to know a dealer that does transfers. When you do go ahead and contact the dealer, uh, it's a good time to ask for a copy of their federal firearms license or uh, ask them if they prefer to fax it to us on your behalf. Some dealers uh, prefer to do it this way. It's really per their personal preference. Next, you really want to ensure that you have a safe place to store the firearm when you're not going to be using it. A solid metal gun safe is going to be the best. You really want to avoid cabinets with glass if at all possible. There are small pistol safes that are available uh, that have a key or fingerprint or combination locks. Uh, these safes usually allow quick access if the need arises, but they do keep the pistol safe and secure when it's not needed. Uh, at all costs, you really want to avoid storing it in the plastic case that the gun came in. These are really not secure at all. At minimum, uh, you can use a trigger lock or a slide and bolt lock. Uh, this won't prevent theft, but will help disable the firearm. Uh, securing your firearm is one of the most important aspects of firearm ownership. It is your responsibility to ensure you're able to safely store the firearm at all times, especially if you live with small children or mentally unstable individuals. Uh, really, our communal right to own firearms depends on it. Now that you have verified that you can legally own the firearm, the firearm you want is legal, you have found a dealer willing to do the transfer, and you have a secure place to store it, you can go ahead and purchase the firearm. At this point, before we can ship a firearm to your dealer, we need to receive a valid copy of their federal firearms license. Uh, you can fax it, email it, or mail it in with your payment if you're sending in a check. Make sure your auction number or order number or at least name and phone number are attached to the FFL in some way, just so we make sure we can send the firearm to the right dealer. 
If your local dealer has any specific delivery instructions, this is a good time to include them, uh, just so we make sure that we send the firearm the way they are expecting it. Once we receive all the documentation, we'll go ahead and ship the firearm to your local dealer. When it arrives, they will call you and let you know they have received the firearm. At that point, you want to go ahead and go to the dealer and inspect the firearm prior to filling out the paperwork. Once the transfer is completed, there are no returns. While you're at the dealer, you will fill out the necessary paperwork and go ahead and pay your local dealer the transfer fee. And then they will go ahead and perform the background check and go ahead and complete the transfer. A couple of caveats here. Once the firearm is transferred to you, no returns are possible. If any problem arises at this point, you would need to contact the manufacturer directly for repair or replacement. If you do fail the background check, your dealer will be responsible for shipping the firearm back to us and the original shipping charge will not be refunded. The transfer fee is solely between you and your local dealer. Uh, we don't receive any portions of this fee and will not be responsible for this fee in any way. That pretty much sums it up. We hope this has helped explain and simplify the process of buying a firearm online. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We hope your online buying experience is a pleasant one. We look forward to serving you. Thanks again and have a great day.